I thought as much. All right, it's Nick. probably best Maxwell hasn't seen the state of the hotel. He would be devastated. Shall we be off? Shh. Shush. No. I'm trying I'm to look, look around. around here first. Very well. We can commence into the hotel as soon as you are ready. Get with him before she asks again. All right, Nick. Looks like we have a ghoul infested uh, hotel to deal with. Let's go. Suspicious. Okay. Uh, Nick, I kind of can't get you standing in the doorway. No, go, go forward. Thank you. Classic hotel, main reception desk, construction of the second wing of the premier area of the hotel is stunned away. Apologies to patrons about the noise and construction equipment. Uh, if necessary, a complimentary meal from the Skyview restaurant can be authorised by a supervisor. Check in. Premier Visitor Instructions Upon arrival, all bags and other luggage should be collected from Premier Visitors and their every request catered to. Assuming they have reservations made in advance, check into a suite will be done after entering the... Oh, uh, no. I thought there might have been a vault here. A cons should be assigned to assist the visitors and to guide them to the basement. Passwords are not required to contact the receptionist Maxwell but are encouraged to play up the speakeasy feel for the patron's amusement. Okay. Reservations. Done. Local attractions. Arcadia National Park. One year round, Arcadia National Park is the largest attraction on the island. Visitors can enjoy the rugged beauty of this untouched wilderness. Hunting and fishing licenses can be purchased from the park HQ. Okay. Observatory. Due to the low, low light pop. 
Due to the low light pollution, the Arcadia Observatory has a wonderful view of the stars on a clear night. Nightly stargazing tours are available from April to September as well weather permits. Reservations should be made in advance as space is limited. That's ironic. <laughs> The space to see space is limited, yet yeah, space is limitless. <laughs> um, Alder Sea Day Spa. Visitors can unwind from their explorations of the island at the luxury Al Alder Sea Day Spa, featuring a traditional Turkish spa. This local hot Spot provides comfort and relaxation in the heat of the natural beauty of the island. Okay. Uh, the Vim Pop Factory. A main tradition, Vim Soda Pop may soon be named the official state soda. Visitors can see a recreation of the original soda factory. Predating other nas nationally known pop brands, guided tours of the factory are also available, so see how the much beloved Vim is created and to try some of the new flavours. Visitors can see a recreation of the original soda factory. Predating other nationally known pop brands. Does that mean a recreation of the original Soda Factory? Is there a fake Vim pop factory somewhere? Was that not the actual Vim pop factory I was in? Was that a fake one? Ooh, money. Well, ain't that a blast from the past? Yeah, too bad it's useless. Caps are the currency of the day. Alright. Over here. Ooh. of junk. I love it. What did I get? Souvenir magnet. More pre-war money. Even more money. Nothing to just fall in there. Oh, Perils heading up that way. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I'm pretty sure Peril can handle you. If Cods wants anything, anything to go by. Got it. To you too. All right. What was that? It? I suppose it was an office lock, but I was expecting a little more. Mm -hmm. We can't go up any further. Nah. <laughs> I 
you so hard I knocked your head off. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this weapon. Oh, hello. As well. Right. Ah! All right, well, I guess we're going up that way. First things first, though. Yes. checked in there. I have no idea if I've checked in there. Hang on. Before we do anything else. Let's see here. Now we've got two points. We can put another point in rifles. I guess we'll put a point in as well. A lot more health can't hurt. Um, right, we need to heal. Alright. Wait, where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Scattered switchblade. Observated switchblade, ninety percent. Oh, I want to do something with that. Yes, we'll do that. thank you. Ah. Oh. All right, do this again. Neck. Won't underestimate us again. Ooh, good man. Ooh. Ooh, damage against robots. I think I know what I'm gonna put that one. If I can. Oh. Ah! 
Alright, I don't have... That didn't seem to be coming, but hey. Die! Get off! Yes, they are. Okay. That it? So that may be it. You know what, we can do this later. Let's... That's broke. Uh, ooh. Nope, money. Right. Okay, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm coming. I thought that was Nick. Shooting it, Nick. Oh, I, f I should have changed. Oh, him. Uh, I should have changed your weapon back to a an automatic. Because you're still in single fire right now. Alright, folks. Alright, just the one over here. So, <laughs> all right. I thought you were looking for a left. No, oh, a bunch of. Shooting it. Oh, where'd he come from? All right, well. This and I'm gonna run out of water. Hey, toss anything you can't haul my way. Uh, 
All right. All right. All right. I think that's it. I don't think loot everybody don't know. Well, look away. Ooh. Nice. handy um, patrons you were talking about. Nothing over here. This elevator leads to the exclusive area of the hotel. Ah. You should feel quite privileged that they will be allowing you in. Oh yeah, I'm... I'm... I feel so privileged to be going into a vault. Not like I've never seen inside one of those before. Alright. So, the push button. Apparently so. Uh, Nick, I think you're gonna have to get the next one. I don't think we're all gonna fit. You just couldn't wait, could you? You just had to jump in the elevator shaft and land in Topias. Oh, God, that scared me. You need to speak to Maxwell. Go ahead and activate the control panel there. Yeah, one sec. There's a lot of stuff in here. That I do not want to leave behind. That coffee time. I'll take it. All right, here we go. Bobby pins. Why do I keep picking those up? A Shanka hat. I don't think I have one of those. Actually, I probably do. I've picked up a lot of hats along the way. Okay. Oops. I don't think there's anything up there. Okay, we've to talk to Maxwell. Well, um, well, this place just got a little more interesting. Or just hack in and open the door ourselves. Greetings! Welcome oh, to Vault 118, your home away from home, underground. Are you the detective we sent for? Yes. Yes, I'm the detective. Uh, thank goodness. Let me just open the door for you. Thank you. Okay, so is this like a shovel? Because there's like tables and chairs and things out here. Well, it's 
about time the police sent someone out to investigate. We have many important residents, and they are very worried. Uh, what happened to died? Uh, if this this is closed off. One of them is my not Yes, I've already come to that conclusion. Uh, I'm here now. We'll get to the bottom of this. Sure. I'm here now. Nice. We'll get to the bottom of this. I cannot tell you what a relief it is, detective. I've learned the moods of our patrons well enough to tell you the tensions are high. Um. That at the crime scene again. Sounds like trouble. Don't they realize that they're going to disturb the evidence? You'd better come with me. I Captain. shall return to my workstation and allow you to take things from here. Thank you. What the hell do you think you're doing? This is a crime scene. Do you not see it? The glory of the thing? The artistry? What the hell is wrong with you? Excuse me? Ezra, you have outdone yourself. Oh, this is your finest work. There is more emotion in his death than most have had in their entire lives. Our friend is dead, Mr. Avita. Have you no respect? I'm just saying that at least he had the decency to make a spectacle of it. There is nothing Please, worse than Please, if I may. That's if what this I could is just to you, have your attention. You're sick. I'm sorry for shouting, but the detective has arrived and shall begin the investigation henceforth. Please return to your rooms until the detective has examined the crime scene and had a chance to come speak with you. Have a look at the crime scene for clues. When you're ready, we can discuss your findings. You are free to question the residents, but their safety is our priority. So unless you have solid evidence, I would avoid accusations. Protect and serve. All right. Search for clues. I am on the case. We have blood, apparently. Hmm. Is this blood? I don't know. It looks like the brain enclosure was smashed. Okay. I guess someone wasn't a fan of robo brains. At least not this one. Fence Buster. Yes. Oh, really? A baseball bat? Huh. What's this doing here? Uh huh. Red paint? Alright, Valentine, this should be. Your street, my friend. This isn't blood. It's red paint. Huh. Well, it makes sense. I mean, they don't exactly have blood in their body. Does that mean somebody staged this? Ugh. That's gross. All right. Um. Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? Uh, that's not blood around the body. It's red paint. I found the murder weapon. Your residents are robots. Yes, I know. Your that. residents are robots. Not robots, detective. Well, not exactly, anyway. <laughs> I believe the term they use is. Robo brain. Back before the war, the residents decided the best way to wait it out was to put their brains inside robotic chassis. Was there anything else? Uh, I found the apparent murder weapon. I found the murder weapon. Oh no. That's the bat from Mr. McKinney's movie. You don't think he could be involved, do you? I can't imagine him ever doing such a thing. Was there anything else? Well, unless somebody stole it. I'm not sure where I should start. Uh, the blood's not blood, it's paint. That's not blood around the body. 
It's red paint. Mr. Santiago would definitely have red paint. But surely he wouldn't have... Would he? This is just terrible, detective. Was there anything else? Um, where should I start? I'm not sure where I should start. I suppose you should try to figure out how he died. And then who had the means and motive to kill him? Once you have enough evidence, then I suppose you'll need to confront the killer. Was there anything else? Tell me about the victim. Tell me about the victim. Mr. Ezra Parker was the primary owner and financier for the hotel. He had vast experience managing venture projects around the world. It was his idea to have our premier clients become investors in the vault section of the hotel. He worked with Vault Tech to have this built to their every specification. Was there anything else? Mm hmm. Never mind. I'll be here should you need me. Alright, good to know. Alright then, I guess we should go and question some uh, eccentric robots. How absolutely inspiring. The detective's life isn't an easy one, but it rarely lacks for excitement. Okay. I think Mr. Handy's definitely have a few screws loose. Security? I suppose they don't get cameras in here. Oh, let's steal it. Right, let's not steal anything. Oh, that makes sense. Protect runs on the security for this room. Yeah. Alright. Stay fit, stay focused. The overseer needs you to join the loyalty corpse today. Protect corpse? and serve. Yep, you're doing a great job. Carry on. Where the heck is this door? There's a lot of this place that's disused. I'm just not going to ask him. Oh, you! I ain't asking you. I ain't, I'm, I'm just not asking anymore. Right. These concierge definitely have a few buckets of bolts loose. Where's this coming out? Alright, well. I guess if we can find them, we'll start with the painter. Uh, where is he? I guess this is who we're looking for. Well, 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 Santiago. Well, if it isn't the long arm of the law, tell me, are you a devotee at the arts? Does that cruel muse call you to her entrapping bosom? Our life without it were no different than animals. I suppose that's true. Art is life. Without it, we are no different than animals. Perhaps. If all we are is a sentience floating in a suit of flesh, or metal, I suppose, then art is the only true communion with the world. Come with me. Okay. Oh. Tell me, what does this piece say to you? 
Uh, it's kind of like a face. It's about compassion. The balance of colors and emotion, uh, emotions and the struggle to maintain internal order. Yeah, let's be snobbish. It's about composition. The balance of colors and emotions and the struggle to maintain internal order. Indeed. This was the last piece I did in a series of portraits of Gilda. Number 1378. Her emotional landscape is superimposed on the portrait. The reality of the subject is distorted as the ego attempts to project itself this way. Alright, one sec, dude. If we're really gonna do this, I'm putting on the outfit to get it done. Alright, uh. Glasses, hat. Dude, dude, dude. And. Alright, now we can talk. Yeah. Like slowly walk. What does this one say to you? It's the war bombs from every direction, no up or down the world turned on its head. It's like trees in space. No, it's like the bombs. It's the war! Bombs from every direction, no up or down, the world turned on its head! I suppose in a way it must be. Art shapes the world, and the world shapes art in return. All art must therefore be constantly reborn through the lens of contextual and historic interpretation. We must ascend. We must ascend. Then let's do that and ascend. Dude, I wish I had your treads. I'd be able to move a lot faster when over and come up. up this one. And please be honest. For art without honesty is just politics. All right. <sighs> It's cute, I guess, some people like that kind of thing. Yeah, it's a metaphor, a young creature grappling with idea. It doesn't pose a cap possess the capability to understand. It's a metaphor. A young creature grappling with ideas. It doesn't possess the capability to understand. The mind will superimpose meaning where none was intended. I had not considered it. Truth be told, this is my best-selling piece. I did this series under a pseudonym, of course. This series has made more money than any of my serious works. And I take the whole thing as a lark. What does that tell you about the value of art to the common man, huh? Ah, my fellow connoisseur of the art. Here to see my latest war. Do you have any thoughts on the murder? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? The person you should be looking at is Juliana Riggs. That Philistine would not know art from her own excrement. She and Ezra had a rather dramatic fight recently. You could hear her banshee screeches all the way across the hotel. Okay. What were Juli Juliana and Ezra arguing about? What were Juliana and Ezra arguing about? I don't know. I was painting at the time and I was trying to block it out. Though I bet Gildo probably heard them. Maybe you should check with her. Alright, well we're going to talk to everybody anyway. Found red paint at the crime scene, know anything about it? I found red paint at the crime scene. Know anything about that? No, actually. Ezra borrowed my last can, and now I can't find it. Wait, isn't Ezra the guy that's dead? Hmm... Sounds like you've done a lot of painting of Gilda, why her? It sounds like you've done a lot of paintings of Gilda. Why her? Our Gilda is a very singular creature, detective. Do you not see this joie de vivre within her? I have never met another who clings to life so tenaciously, who lives so in the moment. I must admit I was quite smitten with her for a time. You're still in love with Gilda, aren't you? You're still in love with Gilda, aren't you? So what if I am? What business is it of yours? She 
deserves someone who truly understands her ephemeral beauty. Not that brute actor. Finger the murderer, you used Keith's back to frame him and left the trail of paint so we wouldn't find it. So we would find it. Hmm. I mean, he does have the motive. He wants the guy's gal, so he frames the guy for murder, but... I don't know, he's an artist. Yeah, I don't know. I think we need to keep digging right now. Um... Never mind. Never mind. Right, let's pop the pixel suit back on so we can move. I guess we'll just work our way around and see what we can find, I guess. Oh, this is disused. Oh, steel. Everything's goddamn steel. Um. Okay. No, 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 no. Behave yourself, man. Woman. Okay. Uh, nobody here. You think I'm stupid? I saw the way he looked at you. You gonna tell me that's nothing? It wasn't like that. We were friends. He helped me out of a tight spot or two is all. I couldn't stand by like some pasty-faced Percy while he put the moves on my best girl. But now the law is on our tail. What are we going to do? Come away with me. Let's leave this dark hole of a city behind. We can be in Buenos Aires by tomorrow. Oh, I want to believe you, I do, but... They'll never let us go. Then we'll make our stand here. I... I've got a gun for each of us. No, 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 no! The line is... Then we'll make our stand here. Two lovers together with a bullet for each of them. Oh, God. Why can't I ever get that line? Forget it. I can't do this right now. Ugh, fine. I'm going to the beach. You picked me up in Vault 114. They're really over a hundred of these things? Hello, Detective. How can I yep. help? Did you have questions about the case? Yes, I did. Uh, what's your thoughts? Did you have any thoughts about... the murder? It's obviously Santiago. He keeps going back to look at the crime scene. I found your bat at the crime scene. Care to explain that? I found your baseball bat at the crime scene. Care to explain how it got there? Hmm? Oh, we were just rehearsing a scene. Nothing to worry about. Excuse me? I was asking about your baseball bat, not a scene. I found your baseball bat at the crime scene. Care to explain how it got there? Okay. Just let me know how I can help. Dude, Hello, tell me detective. about your baseball bat. How can I help? Did you have questions about the case? Why are you avoiding the question? Yeah, you just shot to number one of my suspect list, I guess. Never mind. Okay, just let me know how I can help. Oh. All right. Uh, Gilda went to the the beach that was off the shower room. All right, let's. Uh, Go and talk to Gilda. See what she's got to say for herself. <laughs> <laughs> 